this video, we're going to review how to find nodes or find node elements in a red-black search tree. And if you're familiar with binary search trees, you know how to do this, and it's uh, pretty straightforward. However, if you're studying this for the first time, it may be helpful, and it'll, it's also good to always review it. So uh, to, we have a tree in front of us right here, and to find an element, we always start with the root node, which in this case is 17, and then depending on if whatever we're looking for is greater than or less than 17, we will go to the left or the right, right hand side. So if the node we're looking for is the value 23, we'd start at 17, we know 23 is greater than that, so we go to the right, we compare it with 24, we know it's less than 24, go to the left, we compare it with 22, we know it's greater than 22, and then we find it. So you can see we found it in just one, two, three hops, which is pretty impressive because if we started in, say, a sorted array, that would have take tw taken 23 iterations to get to it if you had numbers 1 through 23. So uh, it's one of the big reasons why uh, binary search trees or red-black trees are very important. And also, it's a huge reason why red-black trees or rebalancing type of structures like this uh, make searching much more efficient. And so like we talked in the first video on red-black trees, uh, the cert whenever you try to find an element, uh, you're always going to have a com time complexity of order of login, which is very fast. So I'm going to go through a few searches here, uh, a few animated searches, just so you can get a hang of it. So uh, let's search for 21. It starts at 17, goes to 24, 22, and then 21. You can see it's very, very straightforward. You're just looking at each node, comparing it with the value you're searching for. If it's greater than it, you move to the right. If it's less than it, you move to the left. And we'll go with a couple more. Let's search for 25. So it goes to the right. This time it's greater than 24, less than 66, less than 33, and there it is, it found it. And the last one, we'll look for the smallest node, and, or the smallest value, which is 10. So it starts at 17, moves to the left, moves to the left again, and there it found it. Now to actually traverse a tree, a, a black red tree, or sorry, red black tree, uh, you can uh, do it pretty easily, and I'll show you how that works. So um, we're gonna start, Oops. all the way to the left because we know that's the lowest value. It goes to its parent, which then goes all the way to the left of its child, back up to its parent, and then all the way to the right. You can see that the way to, and then there's your root, the way to traverse it is simply to look first for the lowest value of every tree structure, even subtree structure, and then move your way up to that respective parent, and then to the right, and then back again to the greater nodes. You can see that it's the same exact pattern, and if we were to have a lot more nodes, it would be the same thing, which is one of the great reasons um, for using recursive type algorithms with trees, because they allow for you to scale your approach and uh, use the same method calls again and again. And so you can see that's how you traverse a red-black tree. So good job, you now have a much better understanding of how red-black trees work, how to reverse them, how to insert elements, how to delete elements, and then how to find them.